Alrighty, Captains. A few people have asked how the wire um, pre-compiled block was made, and that's the one that goes between Resolume and Notch. So I've covered the Notch bin in the previous one, so this is actually the wire graph. Um, I'm just going to zoom in here so we can see a bit more of it. This is broken up into several little regions. The first one at the top is the BPM and Resync. Following down here, we have our color controls, so our four color controls. And underneath that, we have our four parameters. We have the reinitialize button, which is a trigger down the bottom here. And all of these feed into an OSC out. So I think the best way to explain how this all works is to break it up by sections, which is what I have over here. So let's jump into our first one now. So our BPM and resync. So the way this is actually set up is we're using a trigger. So if we want to build along with this down the bottom, Let's go ahead. So we're going to jump in here and add a trigger. Trigger in. Because we want this to be accessible from inside of Regloom. So here's our trigger in. Um, now this is going to be our resync BPM. So this is only going to pulse once and we want it to turn on and off really quickly. Now I've probably missed the way to do this officially, but we are going to use the way I've done it. So we need to do an OSC. OSC. If I can do it, OSC out node. And that's going to basically be our endpoint for all of our things. To get OSC out, we need to do a write OSC. I keep writing OCS. <laughs> write OSC. Okay. And what this is looking for here is an address, as in where what we're going to be sending, and then the message it's going to be sending it, as well as it needs a trigger to fire it off. So our trigger in is going to be our trigger to fire. So we link that in here. Um, and what we've got here next for our address, so if I just jump into here on the right OSC, our address, if we want to edit that up the side here, I've got this set up as Resolum Resync. So Resolum Resync. All one word. So that's going to be our address out. And uh, what we want to do is we want to send a one value to ping off. Uh, the thing though with this trigger is it's only going to fire and just basically send that one time event. Now we need this to turn off as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this delay we have up the top here. So again, double click, type delay. Now we're going to come in here with this delay. It's going to be really short. So let's just say uh, a 0 0.01 seconds. Take our trigger in, feed it in. This is going to delay it and it will allow us to run a second write OSC. Again, feed the trigger in. It's the same address we're doing, but we're going to change the parameter to a zero. So what this will do, as soon as we trigger it on, it's going to fire the send one, and then very shortly afterwards, it's going to send a zero, just to ping that up one and zero inside of Notch. And again, we need to send all of this out via OSC, so we need to hook them out this way. All right, next we're going to go on the BPM side of things, and uh, Wire has a great little plugin called transport info. So again, double click transport info. And this is going to say like, what is our BPM? What is our current beat count? Um, and we're going to be basically grabbing our BPM and feeding that directly across. So anytime this changes, we want to write the OSC. And luckily there is an on change trigger event. So on change, bring this in. So we want any time our BPM changes, we want to send out a trigger. And that trigger is going to be again to some right OSC values. So let's just duplicate these again, bring them back down. Right OSC. So the first one we're going to be running it into is going to be our Resolume BPM. So up here, we have Resolume Resync. We're going to change that to Resolume BPM. And the parameter we actually want to send is just the raw BPM. So 120 straight into here, and we've got to remember to link that OSC up. Okay, so what about the speed? Now, the way that I do a lot of my effects in Notch is I have uh, the speed basically as a multiplier, and that's a multiplier based around 120, because Notch seems to use 120 as its base BPM, and it's speed of 1. So if I want to make something that's maybe 240 BPM, that'll be two times as fast. Hope that's not too hard to follow. So we're realistically going to say whenever this is 120, 
We want the speed to be one. So the easiest way to do that is to add a divide node. And this divide node, we are going to say we want our BPM in, and we want to divide it by 120. All right, so that is going to be our parameter output. And this is going to be called Resolume Speed. So again, click on our OSC down here, change this from Resolume BPM to Resolume Speed, all one word. And we want this to change again every time that our BPM changes. So we have an on change at the top here. We're going to run that through into write. Link this up into OSC is final. And now we have the first group set up, which is our trigger in for our resync. It's going to be firing a one, then a short delay will fire a zero. And that is under the Resolume resync address. And that'll then go out to our OSC out. Underneath that, we have the BPM being automatically grabbed inside of Resolume sent out. Every time there is a change, so an on change, we are going to write an OSC. The BPM will feed straight through, and that'll be set as the Resolume. Oh, good catch, actually. Resolume BPM, this should be. Resolume BPM out. And then we're also taking that BPM, dividing it by 120 and feeding that parameter out here as Resolume Speed, again, triggered off by our on change into our OSC. So that's our start part. Uh, that is going to be all of our BPM and resync. So moving across, we have the color. And pretty much all we're doing with the color here is we're looking for the color picker inside of Resolume. And whenever that changes, we want to send our four floats, which are red, green, blue, and alpha channel. So Let's start with a color in. So you can either come in here and type color, okay, the American color apparently, and go color in, or we can right click, go to our inputs and choose color in this way. Um, the next thing again, we're going to need an OSC out. So OSC out. Now you can use one OSC out for your entire graph, which is what I'd recommend, but we're just doing it in batches here to show how it works. Again, we're going to need some write OSCs to send that OSC data out. So write OSC. And we're going to need four of these, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. So let's just duplicate four out here. Okay. So we need to split our color up. At the moment, it's coming through as a float four. So we need to split that up into four distinct packets. So what we can use here is the unpack node. So our unpack will actually take in the float four and give us four individual outs. So we're going to take each of these and feed them to a fresh OSC. Red, green, blue, and alpha. And just as we did with the BPM, we don't want this writing all the time and just congesting our network traffic. So we only want to do this on an on change event. So we take an on change, drop that in, feed it in, and now it'll turn into a trigger. And we want to make sure all of these OSCs fire off whenever we change our color. Okay. So the next thing we need to do here is we just need to make sure we rename all of our addresses. Now I have these set up to Resolume Color. Let's just go into here. Resolume Color, the number of the color, which is 01, and then the channel, which here is alpha. So on this one down for write OSC, it would be Resolume Color. I've used the O-U-R English spelling. 01. And then the first channel is R. Now I'm just going to copy this because it's going to be the same for most of these other ones going forward. So control C. Coming down to the next one, I'm just going to paste this in here. This one will be G for green. The next one down will be B for blue. And the final one will be A for alpha. And again, to tidy all of this out, we need to link all of our write OSCs to our OSC out. 
So essentially in the graph before, I have four of these, one for each of the colors, but this is how it is built. We're taking a color in, we're unpacking that into the individual colors, red, green, blue, and alpha. On the change of this color, so whenever this color changes to a different color than to what is current, it'll fire off a trigger and it will write the current red, green, and blue values to OSC, and then we're sending that out via our OSC out. And finally, to the parameters section, which is probably the easiest to explain, we are just going to be grabbing a slider, so a float in. We're going to be looking for when that changes, and then we're going to be sending that OSC out. So we're going to say go over the right-click method this time. We're going to go to input. We're going to go to float in. Our float in is going to be doing exactly the same as before, so we're going to need an OSC out. We're going to need a write OSC. And we're also going to be needing an on change as well, because we don't want this to be firing off all the time. So as we did before, the float in is going to be going directly into our parameter. Our write OSC is going to be going out to our OSC out. The float value here is going to be going into the on change to monitor for when there is a change. And when that change is detected, we're going to go into the write section trigger of the write OSC. So as you can see here, whenever I move this around, you'll see the white triggers firing off. So in my effect, I have four of these. You could make as many as you want uh, to recompile your own version. Now, the final thing I have that is set to um, pulse everything here is I have a reinitialized trigger. And all this is doing is sending another one value trigger into all of the inputs for the right OSCs across the entire group. Now, the reason I've done that is sometimes when you load a new notch block, you're going to have the bin default to values of zero. So all this, this trigger will do is just pulse everything and get you to pull everything back directly from Resolume. So if you have all your colors set up in there already in a preset, you can just do a reinitialize and you won't have to move every value independently just for it to recognize of an OSC. Uh, it's just a quick way of updating it. So that is our overview of the Resolume to Notch. Again, just doing a quick fly through. We have our BPM and resync triggers. BPM is being fed from a transport info. We have our color section, which is four different colors, and they're each being split up into four channels and sent across. We have our parameters section, which is our float in sliders. They're going from zero to one and then being sent out via OSC. And we have our reinitialize, which triggers all the OSC values at once, just so we can get it nice and clean. Alrighty, so I hope everyone's having a fantastic time out there. I uh, hope this can help you on your shows. Uh, whether you use the, the pre-built effect I've made or you build your own, I really hope this was useful and have a fantastic day.